Hello everyone, today I will show you how to download the Need for Speed Shift for the PSP which was just released a few months ago, I think. So, first you're gonna need your custom firmware. If you have that, no more problem. Second, you're gonna need WinRAR. If you have that, no more problem too. And then, after that, go to MegaUpload.com I will provide the link of this file in the description, so no more problem with that, and when you go here, you will see a, you're, you're going to have to enter a code, and after you enter that code, you will wait for 45 seconds, but I have done that, so I'm just going to click regular download. When you see this, click save. So I'm going to save that in my desktop. So just wait until it's done downloading. So let's skip to until it's done downloading. Okay, so now it's done downloading. Um, It's already saved here in my desktop. So first you're gonna extract that using um Winrar. So click extract here. So it's processing. Right there. It's process percent. Yeah. It's kind of fast. So this is pretty much just like that. So while that's processing, connect your PSP with a USB cable or put in your memory card. So right there. Um so there I connected my PSP with a my USB cable. Then while it's processing, go to ISO to so that when it's done, just you just have to copy paste. So just wait for ISO to open. Okay, so there's the ISO folder. As you can see, my games are here: Naruto, Grand Theft Auto, Dinner Dash, Go Puzzle, and Bad Pawn Tekken, Grand Theft Auto again, and all those stuff. So now you can see that um, these are the two extracted files. Mind you that um, Need for Speed Shift extracted the game only is 983 MB. And um, since my memory card is only 4 GB and I... Uh, um, my other, th the Need for Speed Shift is in my other memory card. Um, I'm just gonna um, show you that you're gonna have to copy that and paste it here. Click paste, but I'm not gonna copy paste that anymore since it's m in my other memory card. So after you um, copy pasted it, um. You're just gonna have to wait for like five minutes, I think, since um it depends on your computer the speed and stuff. And after that, you can um uh, you can already play Need for Speed Shift. So it's it might take a long time, but um it's really worth it since the game is amazing so um thanks for watching have a good day